Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 1-ups and play to start at 2067 on Ultraviolence. This is map 9, do you believe? Alright, this is the final map of Stardate 20 XT7. This is, uh, well, outside the secret levels, that is. I still have two secret levels to go, but this is pretty much the big boy. Pretty long map with some very brutal fights, especially towards the end, so this is going to be quite hectic, fun and interesting. Do you believe? I do. I do. I believe I will beat this map right now. Okay, let's collect some ammo, collect the rocket launcher, kill these guys. And we're ready for fight number one. So let's grab the Mega Sphere. That's gonna spawn Imps, Revenants, and an Archfall. One on each side. Come on. Is he dead? Yeah. But this, the other Archfall's behind me. Already? He's fast. Okay, let's press this switch in advance. Get the rocket launch ready, because we have plenty of rockets. Thankfully I got rid of the um, Archfalls rather soon, so I don't have to bother with the enemies getting resurrected, so it's nice. All we gotta do now is just plasma the remaining enemies, and there we go. Okay, now I want this Arachnotron to infight with the Revenants, that'd be great. So please catch a missile, I think he did. Did he? Probably. And let's lower the Cyber Demon. Alright. Revenants are infighting. I want those Revenants dead early on. Because they're really good snipers. So, bye bye. Speaking of snipers, let's kill the Chain Gunner too. Alright. There's also more Chain Gunners in this arena now. Let's just kill them. Also these Hell Knights need to die. Okay, and the next step is to get rid of the Imps. And the only reason I want to do that is so I can kill one specific Archfall. I'll explain in just a moment why. Okay, that's good enough. Now we can body block this Archfall without the Imps uh, shooting fireballs uh, in our backs, so there we go. Now we want to go over here because there's a BFG out there, but we need a black key. And the black key can be found right here where the armor bonus is. You're gonna have to fight for it, of course, but these fights aren't too terrible. I think in general this map is actually not that difficult, except for the t final uh, two fights. But uh, you're gonna see that soonish. I think it's gonna be around 20 minutes before I reach the uh, until the, I reach the difficult fights. Everything else is a bit of a warming up, you could say. Alright, prepare the rocket launcher. We're gonna fire three rockets to that direction. Then get rid of the revenants. It's three of them. There we go. Okay, now these barons, I want them to infight with the mankibai. At least one got hit. What about the rest? You, shoot. Shoot. Mankibus? Yeah. So they're gonna be busy. In the meantime, I'll kill those that are not infighting. And the Manka are really strong. They usually kill one Baron at least. Nicely done. Okay, they're gonna be busy. In the meantime, let's kill the Chain Gunners and the Revenants. Baron got killed, very nice. Let's also get rid of the imps there. Because why not? Mm, screw it. Ah, screw it. I'll kill them later. Okay, this fight down here is quite annoying. That archfall is really awkward to shoot. 
So what I'm gonna do is wake him up, make him teleport. He got hit by the imp fireball, that's nice. And now what? What do I do now? Can I... <laughs> Can I kill the arch for doing this? Probably. But uh, that's kind of boring. I'll just plasma him. Ah, he got me. That's okay. I'm gonna get a mega stroke to this, so... Fun little experiment. Using those imp fireballs. Actually pretty smart. Okay, but there's more Outros, but at least we can rocket these with ease. Just make them spawn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. They didn't try to zap me, very nice. Alright, here's a bit of a puzzle. So you need to raise this floor, then pressing this switch makes this elevator match the neighboring sector's height. Then this switch lowers it, and this switch opens the doors. I ride up the lift, and there you go. And don't forget, you can ride up this uh, wall here. For a hidden switch. And this switch reveals a Megastrier. And black skull keys. And with the black key, it's time to check out this fight. All you need to know is uh, focus on the pinkies in front of the group and beware of the cyber demons sniping you, that's all you need to know. Okay, so... Let's do that. I'm just making sure I don't move too much. So I can... Anticipate where the Cybermen rockets will land. Because you don't want to do that too much, like restock on ammo. Because then you face your back to the Cybermen and then you don't know where they're gonna shoot you. Okay, so that's all the pinkies dead. Next step is to kill the imps. Because they're actually quite useless for infighting later on, so I'm just gonna get rid of them early on. Okay, so that's most of the imps dead. I guess just fire one more shot. Okay, let's release the demons. Make them infight, and I'm gonna stay on the left side of the arena for most of the time, and that is to prevent. Uh, three arch falls from uh, waking up. Also, the chain gun is really annoying. Okay, time to kill the side demons now. One is focusing on me, that's not good. This one is at a good position though. The other side demon needs to infight more. Needs to be distracted. Still shooting at me. Now I've got me hit the Hell Knight, so those should distract him now. Oh, nice! Very nice, okay. Now one side beam left and he's staying there for some reason. I don't like that. Can you shoot rockets? Yeah. Kill the naked by. Nice. There you go. Alright, now I kill him. And I didn't wake up the arch shots. Very nice. Very clean. I didn't have to use the supercharges. This is going pretty well. Okay, now let's get rid of those. Oh, wait a minute. Chain gunner. Uh, how do I kill you? Rockets. Boom. Okay, so the archfalls are right here. We can just lure them out and hide here. There we go. Okay. That went uh, really well. I have a spare supercharge. And also mega armor, which I will grab in a bit. First, I want to see. I don't take damage here. And I don't. Okay, let's grab this. Actually, I could have grabbed this after the puzzle. Where you can kind of take uh, forced damage there, but uh, whatever. And this is my favorite part of the map. Not necessarily uh, like this fight, or 
like the uh, architecture of this room, but just a little peek into a window of, of your demise, pretty much. Look how many revenants there. That's crazy. It's kind of dark, I know, but look at that. Yep, that's for later. That's the penultimate fight. A very mean one, too. Oh, I look forward to that one. That one is really exciting. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, switch. Now here's the puzzle I was talking about where you take force damage. You need to prevent the evil eyes from teleporting. So the red triangle teleports the eye. If they touch the purple triangle, they open up the bars. So you need to kind of like block the teleport destination. And that way they cross the purple triangles and open this doorway. And these two supercharges I still don't understand. They just teleport somewhere, I have no idea where, but I uh, never really need them or anything, but we got a purple key. And also BFG, mm, even more important. And we're gonna use the BFG in this fight. Yep, that's a lot of archfiles. But I'm mostly afraid of the Hell Knights, believe it or not. They put some pressure on you, and you kind of want to stay hidden here from the uh, archies. But yeah, that went really smoothly, so I'm happy. Kind of wasting rockets there. Okay, nice. Oh, didn't zap me. Incredible. Thought he did. Or I thought he would for a moment. But I wholly mackerel'd that. Okay, I'll just super shotgun these two. Oh, what? I thought I heard a double kill. I, th I'm s I swear I'm, I'm hallucinating sometimes. Okay, now this fight coming up is kind of scary because it's a wall of Mankibai and a Cyber Demon. And by doing this, like doing like an 8 figure on the, on the floor here, I'm hoping that the Cyber Demon like shoots. And hit some Mankibai, but he's not he's not firing. He's not firing. He's not in fighting, is he? Oh yes, okay. And then I focus on the Mankibai on the sides. Okay, now I need to BFG the Cyber Demon. And what I usually try to do is get them to in fight with the Mankibus. Or Mankibai. Gonna be distracted. Did he hit the Mankibai? I don't think he did. This is taking too long, I'll just BFG everything. In fact, no. Come on. No, it's taking too long. Still nothing? Come on. Come on. Ah, screw it. It's taking too long. Let's kill. Well, that was uh, that was that was stupid. Come on, nice, oh, nice BFG shot, please. It's not that difficult, is it? Oh my god, again, he's just scanning me. Are you gonna invite now? No. Oh, finally. Well, that was a waste of cells, but uh, whatever. Let's grab the Megasphere. Press these two skull switches. That's gonna reveal two secrets. This is uh, switch one out of two for the final fight. And we need, we need the purple key card. Alright, so... We're gonna wake up some Archvals, but not necessarily kill them yet. Okay, let's get out of here. And focus on the Cyberdemon. Come on, shoot. Shoot me. Shoot me. Cool. Yeah, those archers that we just woke up, uh, they are right over there. We'll kill them later. And yeah, uh, pressing those skull switches opened up uh, these little goodies, rockets, supercharge, and megasphere. Alright, um, yeah, next fight. We're gonna go for, believe it or not, we're gonna run for the Pause Invisibility. Because there's like chain gunner turrets that keeps respawning chain gunners and it sucks. 
so with potion visibility they don't bother you as much and now they're gonna get crushed because I pressed both switches let's get rid of the hell knights and the most dangerous enemy here is the Rakuchan especially with potion visibility it's gonna get a bit too crazy trying to dodge those projectiles I'm keeping my distance so the distance is bigger and therefore um, the offset is more noticeable the projectile's trajectory that is something is what i think those far away archfalls somehow got hit by my rockets and they got angry at me what the hell okay what are the odds of that happening? I have no idea, but it, I think that happened. I have to rewatch that, that was very strange. Okay, now we need to get rid of this Cyberman. Not a very exciting uh, fight, honestly, but it has to be done. And I want to save cells for the uh, penultimate fight, so... Don't mind me if I do this. It's only 20 shots. Can enjoy the music in the meantime, I guess. There we go, and now we can finally get rid of those archfalls. It's like eight of them, it's not that many, but as you can see, your auto aim may screw over sometimes. There we go, alright. Done with this fight, nothing uh, too difficult honestly. To have the supercharge left, or... I don't know, I don't, don't, I don't expect it to pick it up. Yeah, those archfalls hit me, I... I don't believe it. Do you believe? I don't. Anyway, let's go find the purple keycard. That one's gonna bring us to the exit. Or, well, the, the final fights, the final two fights. So there it is, purple key. And let's uh, kill some imps here. I'm gonna save cells and kill the archer with the rocket launcher. There. And also, Pain Elemental here. Come on, show yourself. And... This is a nice spot, because from here you can snipe the archers with the rocket launcher. Let's go do that, shall we? Just keep note that when they go in a Pain state, they can still zap you from here. I think there's one left. I'll kill him with the super shotgun or something. I don't want to waste too many rockets. Alright. Um, let's see, some goodies here. This switch lowers the yellow bars, and then we can do some more platforming. Because what you gotta do here is... You gotta collect two health bonuses, like, this is a visual clue, you cannot grab them, but um, it says grab two health bonuses and then you can uh, go to the exit pretty much, or again, final fight. So here was health bonus number one, which we already grabbed. Number two is when you lower the yellow bars, you can go through here, up the lift, press the switch. Do a little platforming, and there it is, health file number two. And yeah, you cannot grab these uh, health bonuses by the way, so... Sorry Big Mac Davis, I know you would love to uh, UV max this map single segment, but if you cannot get 100% of the items, you know, what's... Why would you even bother? 
And yeah, you can kill the dodge by just teleporting out if uh, gets a bit too hairy. Alright, 592. That's the amount of kills you should have before the final fight. So let's drop down here, press the final switch. I'm gonna be very anal about this, but I do want to grab this Mega Sphere to have 200 200. And yeah, final stretch pretty much. So let's go. Alright, so I'm speechless. I'm not even gonna describe this room. Look at this. So yeah, um, don't stand still. That's pretty much my advice because you're gonna catch like 20 Hell Knight fireballs. Anyway, for the beginning part, what I, what I like to do is just do a little pacifist run. Just wake up the Nanky by. Then wait here so they move away from the switch. Then press the switch and then just get out. And then kill these Nanky by first. And maybe also these barons. Okay, now, remember, you need to keep moving. And what you want to do mostly is focus on the arch files first. So that's one down. Most of the time they're in front of the side even so. Yeah, he's in fighting with the cyber, so that's good. And the cyber demon is going to be busy in fighting most of the time. And they're not going to win against all these Arnites, trust me. Also, I need a Megasphere. There's a lot of Megaspheres in this room, but still, you got to be careful which ones you grab. Like the ones on the ground right now, I'm not grabbing until the uh, Revenants get unleashed. And yeah, I'm quite nervous, maybe you can hear it in my voice, but I'm kind of shaky. Because this fight requires so much focus. Like I'm just wasting my health away, catching those projectiles, it's really killing me inside. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this here. Until the side demons are dead, or... Well, until everything is dead, pretty much. But most of the time, both side demons will die and then... Yeah, see, one died. Where's number two? Also died. Okay, so now it's time to do the final cleanup. Anything that's not a Hell Knight, I'm gonna kill. And yeah, it's time for the Revenants, guys. Let's do this. The scary fight. Okay, focus. I'm gonna grab a Magister, just in case. Okay, pre-fire rockets, so I can kill maybe one or two revenants. Okay, wait a bit, and go. Okay, I'm gonna do the classic horseshoe maneuver. Up to a certain point, like when I have 160 cells left or something, I'm gonna try to get past the revenants. So right about now, like one more final shot like this, I'm gonna wait a bit here to move the revenants to my side. Then rush past the revenants. Beautifully done. And try not to get zapped. And also don't camp here for too long. Because the revenants will catch up. Okay, now I just gotta kill as many revenants as possible. As fast as possible. Uh oh. Mega sphere. Okay, see? Good thing I saved those. Ah, not again. Okay, I'm kind of. I'm kind of choking. Choking, 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 mega sphere. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, and don't walk up the stairs too much, because you're gonna wake up like 10 archfas. They will start roaming freely, you don't want that. Ooh, okay, I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. I'm doing actually really okay. Okay, yeah, this is good. So plenty of Negospheres left. Just need to focus on the Revenants. Don't bother with the Archfoss. Ooh, yeah, that is also really scary, because you can get zapped onto the stairs, and you're gonna cross the line that re releases even more Archfoss. Very scary stuff. In case you haven't noticed, there's Archfoss in the center too. So, 
when you, while you're trying to grab ammo, you're gonna get zipped. Ooh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Okay, no panic. No panic, no panic. Everything is okay. It's just that you don't have cells anymore. Okay. Uh, how many revenants left? Okay, these are busy infighting. I'm gonna bother with them. Is there any arch for not infighting? Let's wait here a bit. Actually, no, let's just kill these archers. So the archers behind us were too far away, thankfully. So they cannot zap you. But beware... Oh my god, that was way too close. I was about to say, beware that you can get hit by the Hell Knight fireballs. And they can push you over the um, purple step. And if that happens, those archers get released. And that's something you don't want right now, because there's too many of them. But when there's like three left or something, or two left, you can just cross it and kill them like this. Okay, and grabbing the yellow key also lowers the other Hell Knights. But that's no problem. Let's press these switches. And that's gonna crush all the Hell Knights for us. Yes. Okay, let's start bit done. Now for the final fight, but let's clean up this room first. Yeah, those archers are getting crushed, but they can still zap you because of their pain state being triggered. So I'm staying uh, out of their sight. Oof. Okay, now I'm getting really nervous because the, the final fight is also really scary. I'm actually trembling right now. There's something about Riddick's uh, finales. He does it so well, he makes it so exciting and it's such a rush to beat the map. Or the final map of the map set. Okay, let's grab these rockets because I may need them in the next fight. Okay. Let's do some cleanup. I know the Hellnets are getting crushed, but I still wanna just kill the Hellnets myself a bit, because it takes a bit of time for them to get crushed. Alright. Thirteen fifty one, that's the final kill count before the final fight. Okay. I should have gone to the toilet. <laughs> Kinda need to uh, take a piss. Oh man. It's uh the final fight's only five minutes, so I can I can wait that long. <sighs> Here it is, the final fight. So this timer in the middle or in the center, it counts down from ten to zero. And when it does so, you need to press these four switches as fast as possible. If the timer runs out before you press all four, uh, those switches that you didn't press, where the sector is red like this, that's where three archers will spawn in. So if you don't want archers in this area, you gotta press those uh, four switches as fast as you can, or else you're kinda screwed. And there's three waves where that happens, so three times there's gonna be a countdown. So after the third wave, you uh, don't have to uh, bother with the switches anymore, but yeah, that's uh... Oh, okay, let me just uh, wipe the sweat off of my palms. Let's go. So what I'm gonna do first is, well, shoot the switch. And prepare the rocket launcher. Press four switches on the first wave. Okay, so no archers will spawn here. Now we're gonna do like pew 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 and pew. That's gonna move all the Kakademons to this side of the wall, which makes them very BFGable. Then I'm gonna restock and I'm gonna move on to the next group of Kakademons that are nicely clustered. And also the Hell Knights. Okay, let's grab some more cells just in case. 
When the walls turn red, that means the timer is counting down again. Yeah, so it's red. Let's get past the demons here. That's a waste of a BHG ball. We gotta be quick. Press the four switches. It's a big group of Hell Knights. Get out of the way. Okay. We're safe again. No watch falls. We'll spawn. Let's grab some cells again. And the third wave is the most difficult one, because then there's also going to be arch files. And we'll block your path. So I'm going to try to kill as many Kakademons as possible. Then quickly restock on cells again. Okay. So far this is going pretty well. And just waiting for the walls to turn red again. Yeah, okay, so they're red. And this is also where I'm going to grab the Mega Sphere. Doesn't matter how much health and armor I have, I'm just going to grab it. Okay, one more switch. Okay, and now to get out of here. Okay, I hope I chose a site where no side beams will spawn. It's very RNG heavy, so three, three side beams spawned. Okay, let's go to the other side. How many are here? Four. Damn. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's choose. Whoa, okay. Oof. Stray rockets are scary, man. Okay, let's choose this side. This seems pretty calm. Let's get rid of some revenants here. But the most difficult wave, in my opinion, is this one. This is where the crap chain gunners will spawn. Yeah, these chain gunners do so much chip damage, especially when you don't have armor. It's horrible. Okay, now I need to look for the mega sphere. Okay, there it is. Let's grab that, along with the full stack of cells, and let's get out. And again, focus on the chain gunners here. Okay, I think we've done, we've done the hardest, uh, hardest bit. All we gotta do now is not catch any stray rockets, that's... Probably your number one cause of death right now. Okay. I also need to grab that energy cell pack there. Let's just run past the enemies here. Oh my god. Okay. Let's grab this, just in case. And let's just make the enemies infight. Okay, gotta be really alert. And really spot those stray rockets early on. I know a Megasphere opened up, so if I do screw up... I have a spare mega sphere laying there for grabs. But I also need to. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna help myself a bit. I know there's lost souls flying around, but there's just too many enemies flying around still. Okay, this. Uh, I deserve that. I need to get out of here. Oh man, why are so many Cybermen still left? Well, at least I got some cells. Any more cells somewhere? Yeah, okay. Good. I think I got this. The only thing that's gonna kill me now are stray rockets, so I'm not gonna celebrate yet because those are pretty frequent. Okay, there's another Cyberman down. Yeah, there's a lot of random missiles chasing me. Uh, let's grab these cells. Okay. Let's wait here. Let's, let's wait for the Cybermans to come to us. Okay, one is coming, two are coming. Okay, that's another one down. Stray rockets, scary. I'm going to the other side. I'm gonna play it a bit safe. Okay, there's one. Are they coming from the right side? Because that'd be great. Okay, here they come. Oh, he hit something, a pinky. Okay, stay close. Very nice. You're also dead. Four enemies left. So one, two are side demons, and one is stuck. Nice. Yeah, I got this. I got this, boys. I want to say I've beaten started, but I'm not done yet because of maps 31 and 32. Okay, so two enemies left. That side demon that is stuck. Oh, 
second side balloon. Holy crap. I did not expect that. Okay, let's uh, let's kill you. And you, I'm not even gonna like play around and try to punch you. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That was insane. That is one of the most insane fights Rubik's has ever made, or at least one of the most insane fights I uh, I've played of the Rubik's uh, maps. There we go. That's the, probably the hardest map in Stardate, in my opinion. Now we're done. We got all the kills and all the secrets. Let's destroy the crystal. And there we go. That's it, guys. Do you believe? I do. Oh, man, that took a lot of tries. I am... Uh, well, you're gonna see the outtakes very, very soon, but... I had some uh, painful deaths. It is very frustrating to die in this map because it all just takes too long and in my opinion like the first 20 minutes are a bit of a slog, especially if, if you have to replay it that many times. But um, it's done, do you believe? I believe this is indeed the hardest map in Stardate. Some say it's map 5, some say it's map uh, whatever, uh, what was it? 2? Nah, this is the hardest one. Mostly because of the the sheer length, like it takes like 30 minutes to beat this map. It's very punishing if you die at the end. So yeah, um, yeah, that's it. A uh, very beautiful map and with a MIDI made by Rubix as well. Uh, one of my favorite MIDIs of this map set for sure. And uh, yeah, it's just a really, really interesting map with some puzzle elements, which is something you don't see very often. Um, Clever fights as usual, and just a very memorable map throughout. And there's also a map 10, by the way, which is called Thanks for Playing, which I don't think really fits because we're not done yet. But uh, well, thank you, Rubix, for uh, yeah, for the map set, and uh, it is really fun. Um, so, yeah, up next is map 31, and then 32, and then we're done with Stardate for real, but uh, we've done the hard bit, that's for sure. But yeah, let's uh, let's have some fun with these voodoo dolls, so we can kind of damage one voodoo doll, but not kill the voodoo doll, and then look, we can turn itself into a zombie. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Thanks for playing, thanks for watching, and thank you Rubix for this map set. It is an absolute passion project you can tell a lot of love and uh, thought was put into this map and it's one of the most challenging and most fun maps I've played uh, in a long time is this harder than Sunlust? I... I'm not sure actually I think the average map is easier on Sunlust but like the last three maps of Sunlust are really brutal but for me it's been a while, so I don't know if I still think it's difficult because my skill ceiling was lower back then, or that maybe I'm overestimating the difficult uh, level of like Proxion, Maelstrom, uh, Go Frick Yourself, and of course God Machine. But yeah, um, we're done I guess. Um, yeah, next is map 31, I'll give like a true, um, uh, what's it called, a conclusion at the end of map 32, but um, that's done, we're done with the main levels at least, so again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in map 31.